This is a sneak peek of the Matthew C program. We're going to be looking at the level gamma. When you receive your materials, you'll receive a DVD instruction guide, a booklet of tests, your instruction manual, and your student workbook, along with a set of blocks that will be used as your manipulatives. Now if you're doing the beginning levels, you may see some more manipulatives than just the blocks, but all levels will come with the box of blocks. So this program really stresses the importance of mastering one operation before moving to the next. So it's not broken up into grade levels. They use uh, Greek, the Greek alphabet, to show which level that you're in. And each level is focusing on a certain operation. So you'll see that the alpha program, you're going to, your main focus will be single digit addition and subtraction. When you move up to beta, you'll be working on multiple digit adding and subtracting, gamma, multiplication, delta, division, epsilon, fractions, zeta, decimals and percents, and then on up to your middle school and high school courses. As you move up through the levels, like you'll see in gamma, though the bulk of your instruction is multiplication, there, through each lesson, they, in the student workbook, they give you workbook pages that deal with reviewing what's been learned in the past. So every day, even though, like I said, the main instruction will be multiplication, when they get to their workbook pages, they will still continue to review uh, the operations and skills they've learned one or two years ago. So let's see how your day will be run. <clears throat> they encourage that you start with the video first, then you go into um, like a discussion with your student, then you work with the blocks, and then finally you end with your workbook instruction. So I'm going to show you a glimpse of the video instruction so you can see what that looks like and who you will be watching. <laughs> um, so this guy here is the instructor and so each day you'll just click on the lesson that you'll be using Today we're going to learn multiplication. and, and he will be the instructor. We have some students with us and we have the cameraman and you have me. And you also have, all, what's all over your table there? Blocks. I'm going to just Why go ahead and blocks? skip through so you can see but don't understand it. And we want to do both. how he teaches the lesson the of and the some of the different things he does here. Okay, so if I was counting one, two, three, four, five this way, and it's one, two that way, that's called the edges, right? You're over and the up. Now, how many squares do you think will be inside this rectangle? Times itself once or five times one? Does that make sense? Okay. Show me ten times one. Your whizzes. There it is. Ten times one. Show me one, two, three, four, five, six. Would say two, four, six, eight. So you're seeing a picture here of how the blocks are being used. They encourage the use of blocks with each lesson. Parentheses. Where do we get that word? Parentheses. Language, okay. And while he's working on the board, your student will have scratch paper and be following along with him. that this is mom. Do with these. Circle them or star them or check them or what do you want to do? Star. Like a big star or a little star? Okay, we'll do little stars. We just learned all the two 
I know you can go 35, 40, 45, 50. Now, let's look, though. What do the fives end in? Five and zero. Five, zero, five, okay. zero, five, zero. But how do you tell? So there's a glimpse of the video instruction. Now, they encourage that you start with the video instruction every day. And uh, he said that you can, as the teacher, either watch it yourself, by yourself, and while you're watching it, you can be looking at your instructional manual, because whatever he's doing is also what you'll be reading in your instruction guide. So he said if you would rather that you just watch the video on your own and you prepare to give the instruction to your child, that's one way you can do it. Another way he said, especially in the older levels, if you're working with older students, that uh, sometimes they do better with them, the student watching the video. So either watching it with you or just watching it on their own and then going right into their workbook pages. So that will be up to you. I'll show you a peek here inside the <clears throat> instruction manual. You'll have your answer guides towards the back. And then again, each lesson is scripted and broken up into pretty exactly what he's doing himself on the DVD instruction. Okay, so after you decide how you want your instruction to be ran, um, once the lesson is either watched or you've taught the lesson yourself, <clears throat> you'll be using the blocks and scratch paper to do that beginning introduction and practice piece. And then you'll finally review the instruction of the day and do some extra practice in the student workbook. There are three pages actually six pages total that are given for each day. The first three pages deal with only what was taught in that lesson for that day. So um, it was encouraged that if your child is able to do the first workbook page to mastery, you know, they're able to work through it quickly, they show they've under they understand it, <clears throat> they don't miss any, then it would be fine to just do that one workbook page. If they're showing any sign of struggle or that they didn't understand the lesson for that day, then yes, you may need to go on and do one or two pages extra in order to firm up uh, that skill or that operation that they are learning. It might even take you to another day where this might be spread into two or three days <clears throat> instead of just one. And that's where you'll, as the teacher, will have to make that determination. The last three pages are a systematic review. And this is where not only will they be looking at what they did for that day, but they'll also be going back into operations and skills that, lay, that they have learned in the past. Now, it, it, was, it is encouraged to do all three pages of, or all three of the systematic reviews. So depending on the time that you have, <clears throat> excuse me, and how quickly your child is working through the pages, it is highly recommended that you do all the systematic review for that day. Okay, There is an enrichment piece. Again, that is up to you. It's optional. Um, and then you're on to your next lesson. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll let you peek here through the rest of the workbook just to get a glimpse.
One other thing that they really stress, like I said at the beginning, is they're a mastery program. So they really believe that to wrap up your lesson, you should ask your child to teach you <clears throat> the concept or the skill or the operation that was learned that day. So to wrap up your lesson, you can say, let's see, let me find one here. You know, how, how do you do this <clears throat> problem and why? And explain it to me, teach it to me. You know, how, how can I do this? And if they can repeat those steps back to you and they're able to, you know, tell you with, with no mistakes or without a blank stare, <laughs> then they have mastered that concept and they are ready to move on to the next lesson. So there is your sneak peek of the Matthew C. If this is something that interests you or you have more questions about it, please Contact me, Star Williams, at 503-758-3636.